Alright, so at the time of recording this, YouTube is not working. I have a video set up for Monday, which should be the 3rd of June. And then this video will should be going up on the 4th of June. Um, so today, I'm going to be showing you guys an updated video on how to get a mod mini in Black Ops 2. Straight through theater, so no USB mods, no computer, no nothing. But, if you would like for me to do a tutorial on how to do USB mods and that whole process... Which you can do, I'm pretty sure you can do a whole lot more with USB mods than you can with these theater infections. Be sure to leave a like, and subscribe, and turn on notifications be notified when I do upload that video because I am planning on it. But still, leave a like so that I know that you guys do actually want to see it. Anyways, I wanted to make an update video on how to get a mod menu in Black Ops 2 because the other video did so well. And I've been getting a lot of questions, too many for me to answer all of them. So I kind of wanted to just do a full updated and... Basically, just run through everything that I possibly can. If I forget something, leave it down in the comments below, and I will do my best to answer them. Now, one more thing. Don't ask a very obvious question, because I've had so many comments on the the um, recent video on how to get a mod menu, asking obvious things like, does it work on Xbox One? Well, I'm literally on an Xbox One right now, but if people were to actually watch the video they would know that because i knew that people didn't watch the whole video so why go straight to the comments and ask a question and then wait for a response when you can watch the video right now and figure it all out right now so anyways we are going to get into it so first you're at black ops 2 you're signed in whether it's on xbox 360 or xbox one backwards compatible which is what i'm on right now this might work for PlayStation, I do not know, so don't ask that in the comments. You, if you're on PlayStation, feel free to follow this process and try it yourself. I'm pretty sure it does work, so you can try that yourself and let me know if it does. And if you do, let me know if it works on PlayStation. I will pin the comments so that other people that watch this video, they can go to the comments and they will know if it works or not. So if you want, you can do that, and I will do my best to pin the comment. So anyways, you're going here on Black Ops 2, and you're basically just going to want to go to Barracks. Then you're going to go down to leaderboards. Now, it doesn't really matter which one you pick here. For this example, I'll just choose career. You'll click on career and you'll see all your friends. Well, for me, it's not like that. You'll see all your friends here and all their um, stuff. Then you just want to press Y and the players. It will be on friends. For mine, it was on all. But for most of you, it'll be on friends. You want to switch it to all and press apply filter. Then you want to press X to go to the top of the list. And you'll see a bunch of gamer 7112s. Uh, just click on the very top one, go to player channel, and then you'll see all these. Just go down to edited films, give it a second to load, and you should see all of these menus. There's a lot of them, uh, whether it's unlock all or any prestige or whatever, which I will be making tutorials on how to go about doing those. If you want to figure out how to do that, um, a, bunch of, a bunch of other mod menus. So for this example, I will be doing... Which one am I going to go with? For this example, I'll do the GSC Infection V2. So this should infect you with the Elegance V5 menu. So all you want to do is just want to click on whatever mod menu you want. Now, real quick, if it's a multiple part um, clip, then basically you just want to watch them in order. So, you, like, for example, if you want to do Jiggy, they have two parts. So you would watch the first one, and then you would after the first one, you would go to the second one. After that, you can continue with the rest of the tutorial and... You should have the thing. So I'm going to click GC, GSC Infection V2. Click it. Do you want to go to theater? You're going to want to click yes. Wait for it to load. It should take a minute. Then you want to click start film. And that's when you just want to wait for it to start up. Now, once this does get started up, I'm going to be, I'm going to be like running through and telling you guys how to do this online. And you know what? Because I didn't really go into detail on how to do online in the last video, I will... I'll, I'll, I'll go on an online match. I will show that in this video on how to exactly do it. So just stay tuned. I'm going to fast forward this, and I will be right back. Okay, so one thing it is worth mentioning that I didn't make clear enough in the last video. Basically, it'll say, like, for example, this clip, it said it was 2 minutes and 30 seconds long. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's, it's not that long. It's a little longer. So it'll go, and it'll be like it ended, but the video will still keep going. You just want to wait until it freezes like this. As you will probably hear just like one solid sound effect for a good while. And everything is completely frozen as like it's a solid freeze frame. Then that's when you want to press the start button and then go down to end film and then leave clip. Then you'll go back here and then of course for the multiple part things you want to watch both parts. And then 
that's when you're good to go to custom games and you just want to start up a regular game then we will wait for the game to start there it is the game started now once we load in we should have a mod menu right away we'll load in there you go so in order to open this you um it's different for each mod menu but for the elegance the one that i did in this example you want aim in and press the knife button for me it's right stick because I don't have my controller preset to tactical. So if you're on tactical, it should be aim and then B. So it, it, it all depends on your controller mappings. So then there you go. You got you got the mod menus. You got all the quick mods. There you go. God mode, all perks, all that stuff. Uh, go to ESP. And just to show you that this is working, we will put on ESP. Then what we will do is we will back up and we will go to... So ESP is one. If you don't know what ESP is, that's basically wall hacks. We'll go to game settings, and we go to bots menu. We'll spawn three bots. There you go. There, that's, those are all the bots. And then what we can do is we can go to there, go to main mods, and then... No, not main mods. Uh, Aimbot menu. There we go. Good legit. Hey, okay, that, that was already on. My bad. See, there you go. Right here. Damn, I was clearly not looking at him. So super, super legit is actually pretty good. Go over here and bam. Okay, that's he's not there. Sometimes it'll glitch out, but as you can see, I have unlimited ammo. So, anyways, now you may be asking, how do you go online with these mods? Well, it's simple. You just as you're in the private game, the uh, custom games. You just want to open up the mod menu, and you want to go, and for the elegance, uh, not, it's different for each mod menu, but for the elegance, you just want to go down to force host, and you want to press that. Now you can see it says force host on, then that's when the fun part really begins. That's when you can go end game, wait for the game to end, and then you'll be back at the lobby, and then you can look for a lobby. So now that you're back at the lobby... You can go leave and then go to public match, find match, and then find whatever has the most people. Now, this is what people were really confused on in the last tutorial. You're going to go into team that match. Now, it's going to take a while to find people, mainly because you're basically forcing the game to put you as the host of the lobby. In order for the mod menus to work, you need to be the host of the lobby. So you're going to be the very first one in here, and you're going to be in a lobby by yourself. As you can see, we can vote for the maps and everything, but of course, it's not going to work. You're going to wait for people to join the lobby. Some people will join and then leave as they see that no one's in here. But you literally just want to sit here and wait for people to join, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm basically putting in the hard part just so that you guys can see that it works. So you just want to wait. There, there's people. So there we go. This actually went pretty fast, but sometimes this can take a few minutes. We're going to wait for everyone to join. Uh, that's actually enough people. We need at least six players in here so they can be 3v3. Wait for the time to go down. I'm actually going to go to turbine. I'm going to mute this guy. And people are leaving. See that? That's that's the tough part because you know people start leaving and everything. You just want to wait for people to join. So basically, I will be right back when everyone joins and the game is about to start. Okay, so now the match is finally about to begin. It took just roughly two minutes for everyone to join because everyone in the previous lobby before the cut they all left. So I had to wait for a whole brand new lobby. So we got a match on Turbine, which is really that's a good map to be honest. Then. You're in, you're in your multiplayer lobby, you waited, you're the host of the game, you waited for everyone to join, now the game's finally starting, you load in, bam, you got it online. So now here's the thing, depends on if you want people to see you, now if you do get booted, the reason why that would happen is because you can't get banned from this. Activision or Treyarch does not, does not support this game anymore. They, they, they just, they don't support, they don't support the game anymore. So they cannot ban you. The only thing that could happen is someone else who has an RGH, which is a mod Xbox, if you didn't know, can go on and try to boot you off your internet. Some people might be able to. Some people will just threaten you and won't be able to do anything. Just if you do get booted, you know, do this at your own risk. That's all I'm saying. I do not want to be held responsible for people doing that. Like right now, I'm I'm risking myself getting booted as I'm running around just killing these people now. If you wanted to and you didn't want to get booted, you can still do this and, you know, try to hide it. Whether if you just put on ESP and not do any, like, aimbot or anything. Oh my god, people are getting in my way. See, bam. 
Now, here's when I can be a real douchebag. I can go here. Now I can go to aimbot. I turn off super legit aimbot. Aimbot switcher. Unfair aimbot with aiming. Bam, you ready? That's a thing. I have unlimited ammo, so I'm just getting... And of course, people are going to leave the game. There is an option where you can turn on anti-quit, so that every time someone tries to open up the start menu, it will not It'll just do this. It'll keep doing that. So, anyways, that is how you get a mod menu uh, on Black Ops 2. That's how you get a mod menu online. So, if you guys did enjoy it, be sure to hit the like button. If you do want to see how to get USB mod menus, where you should be able to do way more than this, I'm pretty sure... Be sure to leave a like and comment down below uh, if you would want to see that. Also, comment if this if you um, tested and if you know that this works on PlayStation, so that people that are on PlayStation will know because I'm doing this on the Xbox One. Of course, it does work on 360. I have tried it. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and see you guys later.